I ditched Notion for 30 days and switched to LogSec instead. Now, a disclaimer here, I manage my entire business in Notion, so of course I wasn't going to switch business ops to LogSec for the sake of this video only. This experiment was basically for my personal note taking and organization and I did learn a lot about how LogSec works. While Notion is a very flexible platform, LogSec, just like Obsidian and Rome Research, is very much geared towards knowledge management, so it relies a lot on the network you build by interlinking networks and navigating backlinks and nodes from the graph view. In a way, comparing LogSec to Notion isn't actually a fair comparison, because they're really geared towards different purposes, but I believe that since Notion is so flexible and people use it for so many different things, to write college notes, to manage tasks, plan for projects, collaborate with team members and so much more, who knows if LogSec isn't actually a great improvement to the particular way you use Notion. So let's take a look and find out. LogSec has four main features, journals, whiteboards, flashcards and the graph view. So let's start with journals. LogSec's journal function serves as a daily workspace where we can record thoughts, tasks and notes as they unfold throughout the day. Each day automatically gets its own dedicated page, creating a chronological diary of your activities and notes. Think of your daily notes as a brain dump, an inbox where you can record anything interesting you find or think about during the day. The interface is intuitive, with a clear and simple layout that makes it straightforward for users to jump in and start writing. Just like other knowledge management tools, LogSec allows you to backlink, timestamp and add to the items in a linear way. To add links to existing notes, you type two open square brackets and then follow that by the title of the note, a lot like Notion works. Furthermore, just like Notion, each bullet point in LogSec works as a block and this block can be linked anywhere in your knowledge base. Entries within the journal are automatically dated, helping maintain a clear timeline of your notes and activities. You can seamlessly link to other pages and notes, creating a web of information that is easy to navigate and connect. And more about that later. Just like Notion, you can use Markdown to format your notes, including headlines, bullet points and checkboxes for tasks. And of course that everything can be searched, so LogSec ensures that any piece of information within your journals and your pages can be quickly found, making the process of retrieval fast and efficient. Regarding task management, LogSec's native tools are very simple, but you can make it work if you use plugins. For instance, the Task Management Shortcuts plugin lets you quickly change the status of a task, and the To-Do List plugin lets you add a task to your journals page from anywhere in your workspace. Okay, so this is the feature that actually made me feel pretty excited, and I literally can't stop thinking about this, and I think Notion would benefit so much from this feature. So the whiteboard feature in LogSec is basically a white canvas for brainstorming, planning and organizing ideas visually. You can create diagrams, flowcharts and mind maps, connecting different concepts and ideas in a special manner. This is particularly useful for visual learners and those who prefer a more graphical approach to note-taking and planning. Another great thing is that the whiteboard feature is seamlessly integrated within the rest of the app, so you can link to other notes, pages and journal entries, creating a comprehensive and interconnected knowledge base. The flashcard function in LogSec is designed to enhance learning and memory retention, utilizing the spaced repetition technique. You can create flashcards directly within the nodes, embedding them into your knowledge base for easy access and review. LogSec automates the review process, scheduling flashcards for revision based on previous performance and ensuring that information is revised at optimal intervals for long-term retention. The graph view in LogSec provides a visual representation of the connections between different nodes, pages and concepts within your knowledge base. Mine has three nodes, so it sucks, but you can find here another user's graph view which looks way better than mine. It's very similar to what you can find on Rome Research or Obsidian. This feature enhances navigation, allowing you to see how different pieces of information relate to each other and to navigate through your notes via these connections. The sidebar then gives you access to contents, page graph and help buttons, but the coolest feature is that it also allows you to open other notes to use as reference material, a bit like Scrivener does. Okay, so this one is really cool. LogSect actually has a built-in PDF reader. You basically upload your document and use the sidebar to take your notes, and when you copy the text inside your PDF into your journal, it creates a link to that specific passage in your document, which makes referencing PDF documents a breeze. There's also a built-in integration that helps import your Zotero items as pages seamlessly, which is a fantastic feature if you need to organize and cite research often. 
basically you can either type slash zotero command or search individual zotero items select and then add it as a locksec page Okay, so let's see. Notion versus LockSec. Which one should you actually use? So Notion has a more polished and user-friendly interface in my opinion. It's more visually appealing and provides a wide variety of templates to get started. Notion uses a block-based editor where everything you create is a block, which can be moved around and manipulated easily like LockSec. But in Notion's case, you have more types of blocks available. LockSec offers a more minimalistic and markdown-centric interface. It's tailored more towards users who prefer working with plain text and markdown. It provides a less visual but faster and more keyboard-focused experience. Notion supports rich text formatting, multimedia embedding, and a variety of content blocks like tables, lists, and Kanban boards. It's great for structured note-taking and has strong database functionalities. LockSec focuses on outlining and backlinking, similar to ROM Research. It's designed for more networked thought and unstructured note-taking, promoting the Zettelkasten method and bidirectional linking. Notion stores data on its own servers. You need an internet connection to access all features, though it does provide offline access for recently opened pages. LockSec stores data locally as plain markdown files, providing full control over your data. It can be used entirely offline and is great for users who are concerned about privacy and data ownership. Notion offers a wide range of customization options through templates and integrations with other tools and services. While LockSec provides customization through themes and plugins, and because it stores data in plain markdown files, it's easier to manipulate with external scripts and tools. Notion offers a free tier with limitations and various paid plans for additional features and collaboration capabilities, while LockSec is open source and free to use. So I think it's clear that LockSec was created to be a personal knowledge management tool. While Notion is becoming more and more geared towards teamwork, now with team spaces, new enterprise features, etc., LockSec always positioned itself as a personal note-taking app that is heavily focused on knowledge management. You know, all in all, I'm still going to use Notion for both project management and note-taking. And the good news is I designed a full work dashboard in Notion, which is completely free with your Nebula subscription. Besides this free template and its corresponding guide, you can also find more exclusive videos on Nebula like setup planners, routines and walkthroughs that I never published on YouTube before, because all well, they were topics and formats that YouTube doesn't really like and it would end up killing those videos anyway. Nebula is a great platform built by creators. We can post whatever we want without having to worry about YouTube's algorithm. And because of that, it's a completely ad-free and sponsor-free platform. And we can post so much exclusive content, classes and video series you can't find anywhere else. You can search for this icon, for instance, to know you're watching a video that still isn't available on YouTube. And this icon to know you're watching something that will never be available anywhere else. And I love to receive everyone's emails and messages saying they're watching all of my videos now on Nebula because that's always the best way to support my content. And of course, I'm not alone. If you browse Nebula, you'll find so many other creators, including so many people from the STEM community and the productivity community as well. And here's the fun part. A Nebula annual plan costs basically two and a half dollars per month. And this is not only for Nebula, but for Nebula classes too. And that's definitely one of the best things on the platform. So click the link in the description box below and I really hope to see you there. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!